Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre. Last time we left off, we unlocked the ability to craft and we got RSL on the squad. So that's pretty cool. I took the opportunity to look at some more of the uh, crafting things. Um, I don't really have much more money, but I have noticed various things. Uh, so one thing that's interesting to note that I picked up on um, these upgrades do actually give the uh, equipment different stats, and one thing to uh, keep in mind with our various pieces of equipment here is they give different stat bonuses there <clears throat> on the right. Not just like attack, defense, and HP and stuff like that, but they also give differing amounts of avoid, dexterity, strength. Like the Aspis here, for example, gives strength, which would be good for melee units. But these just give like dexterity and uh, not a lot of strength, etc, etc. So, if we want our unit, our melee units to do more damage, equipping them with an Aspis plus one is better than equipping them with, like, a spiked shield, for uh, example, in some circumstances. Um, the other thing is, I took a peek at the stats to remind myself of things. So this affects melee and ranged physical attack, defense against attacks, melee and ranged accuracy and attack, so dexterity handles both of those. Um, which is a little bit confusing because there's melee and ranged physical attack and then melee and ranged accuracy and attack Which is weird, but I'm guessing dexterity is probably better for uh, ranged characters um, I mean dexterity is usually like chance to hit and accuracy and stuff, but it once again accuracy is Controlled by agility here the, the stats are different than I'm used to I'm used to agility being like your speed not your accuracy, and dexterity being your accuracy, but not your speed, and, you know. The stats are weird in games, they always mean something different, so. Just a refresher about all of these. Ability to avoid attack, offensive magic, affects the success rate of special skills and offensive and defensive magic, and the ability to resist magic. So, those are the things that uh, I wanted to keep in mind there. There's also some equipment that's just straight up a downgrade. <clears throat> I checked out the robe plus one. And I see no reason to use this over the mage, over the mage's robe, even the upgraded one. Some of these aren't linear upgrades. Some of them are. Like the shields, for example, are not linear upgrades. Um, like the aspis, you would still have a reason to use it over, say, a tower shield or something, even though the stats are slightly better on those. Um, and some equipment, like the linen slops, give you like protection against magic, and the circlet does as well. So there's reason to equip those. But the robe, as far as I can tell, has absolutely no benefit over the Magus robe. Uh, it appears to be inferior in every way, um, as far as I can tell. This one actually has a battle ability, the robe doesn't. This one gives better defenses that the robe doesn't have, and it also gives better stats. So I'll have to keep, out on which, uh, keep an eye on which things are like actual linear upgrades, and which are like horizontal upgrades that could be uh, used in different circumstances, basically. Um, so that is something else to keep in mind. Uh, another thing that's important that I've been considering is, um, for a lot of my characters, we, um, MP is an issue, and for our melee characters, they don't have Meditate to restore their MP faster. So it could be useful at the beginning portions of the fight to kind of have, uh, the, um, the little d d d mana leaf things, the drugs that people that the enemies take at the beginning of every fight. If the AI is doing it, it's usually a good idea for me to maybe look into doing that. So once I get some more money, I'll be doing that. Um, so I think that's cool. I wanted to check out the marks that we have here. Um, doesn't really look like there's much interesting in the mark department. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff I want to spend money on, obviously, and not a lot of money to do it with. One thing I did, other thing I did notice though, here on armor, leather leggings, they give me swift foot. So I imagine swift foot increases my movement, which I would love. So leggings are probably a must to uh, upgrade here because I want the ability to move faster. So we're definitely gonna be getting uh, as many of these as we possibly can. Uh, I can't afford many of them now because it's kind of expensive. So we can get denim some. Um, we could get canopus some. What do you say? That sounds good to me. Just like my main main characters, and then uh, I can craft the materials. I need beast hide and tannin. Sure. You sure. Let's craft the materials, and then um, I can craft from inventory. Yes. 
Or craft equipped. Yeah, let's, let's craft equipped. So, um, we'll get it for, like, Voltaire, for example, as well. Boom. There we go. So we have three leather leggings plus one. Um, it looks like I can craft the materials here. For, th for some chain leggings, too, but... <clears throat> I think I'll just get some more money, and then we'll worry about equipping those things, but... Yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over that stuff. There's a lot there, and a lot to learn and everything, so... Let's check out the Warren Report, why don't we? We have any new talks? We do not, because no, like, main story stuff has happened much yet. This chapter. Thunder Maiden RSL. RSL managed to escape. She clashed with Denim, believing him responsible, but was driven back. Denim later saved her during a battle with Galgastani forces. She now accompanies Denim, seeking to uncover the truth of the massacre. So, that's an update about you. And let's read some of the characters down here. The Necropentus Moldova. A Galgastani who served her clan in battle, she was apprenticed to the necromancer Nibeth. By studying death in all its forms, she believed it would one day be possible to cheat death entirely. When Nybeth set off for Quadriga Fortress to conduct his experiments, she was ordered to stay behind in Christ's Sorrow. There she learned that Almorca Castle had fallen and faced pursuit by the Wallister Resistance. She cornered the Resistance forces using the living corpses at her command, was, but was slain upon the arrival of Denim. So you're the character we ran into uh, when we got uh, Donalto, I believe. Swordfighter Brezen. Gagastani, who served his clan in battle during the reign of King Dorgalua, deadly sword fights were a popular form of entertainment among wealthy Bakram and Haim. Only gladiators were permitted to participate in these bouts to the death. These gladiators were deserters or criminals chosen for their fighting ability. By choosing the path of the gladiator, they escaped execution and were granted a small chance at freedom. I remember a game on the PS2 that I was enamored with when I was young that was about being a gladiator. I think it was called Gladiator Road to Freedom or something like that. It was a really cool, and I liked it. I don't know if it was a particularly good game, but I had a fun time with it. A lot of that when you're a kid. Brezen was once a gladiator himself, surviving numerous bouts to eventually win his liberty. His skill in battle saw him recruited into the army, but he was disliked by others for his vulgar manners. He was bullied mercilessly and made the target of much unjustified scorn. Perhaps because of this, his prowess on the field of battle waned. He was killed after clashing with Denim on the Golborza Plain. Sir Bolas, Galgastani who served his clan. Commoner from Chrysaro, Bolas Rumoth was a young man with dreams of knighthood who volunteered to join the army during the massive recruitment drive for the founding of the Kingdom of Galgastan. As a lightly armored foot soldier at the Battle of Almorica, he succeeded in slaying the enemy commander, and for this achievement he was knighted. His first assignment was to garrison Rhyme. While patrolling the town, he discovered Sistina, a member of the Liberation Front, and attempted to capture her but ran afoul of Denim and was slain in the ensuing battle, so yeah, you're the one that was after Sistina. Bolas had promised to marry a woman from his hometown of Chrysaro after his tour in Rhyme. Although he realized the dream of becoming a knight, other happiness in this life forever remained out of his grasp. It's an interesting idea that, um, <clears throat> that humanizing the characters, like the random characters that we defeat in battle, like this, like, normally in any other game, I see random named knight character, I wouldn't really think much about, oh yeah, I killed them in battle, that's kind of whatever. But they don't really make you feel guilty about it. Here it specifically makes me feel guilty by telling me that you had promised to marry a woman from your hometown, and I killed you. So, it makes you feel guilty. Humanizing the characters that normally you wouldn't humanize in these games? Interesting. Very, very interesting. There's always something to be said about that. So, uh, I guess we are off to Lake Bordeaux, yes? Lake Bordeaux. The Lake Bordeaux, uh, photo shoot. Perform an attack with 100% accuracy, win with an archer, and use a recruit skill. So, we got a recruit. That is interesting. Let's go ahead and scout, first and foremost. So, let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a Dargan! I might try and recruit a Dargan. I'm down with the Dargan. Ooh, there's also a bunch of Vartans. Yes! I would love some Vartans. You're a rune fencer, Vartan. You're... Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. More interested in the rune fencer. You use crossbows, even. Interesting. Rune fencer with crossbow. You also have boon of swiftness. Uh... Hmm. You're... Yeah. You use blowguns. Stun dart blowgun on hit stun. Okay. Okay, I want that. 
I want your blowgun so I can give it to Batarin, because I looked to see if I could upgrade the blowgun that I already have in the shop, and it didn't give me the option to upgrade it yet. But this blowgun just has an on-hit effect attached to it. I imagine that's how things were going to go. Um, ooh, the fairies can use blowguns. Cool. Yeah, I imagine how that's how things were going to go. Um, they would do status effects mostly. I mean, it makes sense. A blowgun isn't going to pierce armor or anything. You have Berserk. That's something to watch out for. Uh, and you are a ninja. And you are dual wielding your blades. Okay. So, yeah, I'm imagining this works like in tactics. A nimble warrior prefers hit and run tactics to an open fight. Their attacks with double weapons can be vicious. That they can. I really like the art for the ninja here. Um, they can definitely be vicious. So, I gotta watch out for you. You have a ring of vitality. Fashion from a dragon's tooth. Uh, what's some of this other stuff that you have hanging out over here? Double attack. Adds the double attack command when two one-handed melee weapons are equipped. Cause ninjutsu to hit with 100% accuracy and immunity to stun. Indirect ninjutsu spell that calls a fire snake crushing damage. Yeah. Okay, ninjas are very, very interesting. You have Archer, Varden, and then you have an Octopus. That has Aqua Bubble. Long range attack that deals crushing water damage to a single target with a spume of acidic foam. Has a chance to inflict break er, Breach. Can only be used while in water. While on water. Okay. Uh, that is interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, so let's, uh, let's look at what they got and kind of, uh, prep my battle plan here. Alright, so this is what I currently have set up for everyone. Everyone's mostly on leather stuff because they are using a lot of piercing equipment. They do have other forms of equipment, but that's most of what we're dealing with. So I definitely, definitely want the leather stuff on. And the leather stuff plus one gives me swift foot. The legs for anything, it seems. It always gets plus one if it's on the legs, so... That's cool, because even the London Slops give it. Um, so, as far as you go, Denim, I didn't really make any changes to you. Cashwell, you're the same. RSL, you're the same. Uh, you're, of course, using your crossbow, Canopus, so that is uh, beautiful. Um, I put recruits, so I can try to recruit some of the Vartans on you, Donalto. Uh, you also have Meditate, of course, and Mother's Blessing and all that, and you also have Major Heal and Boon of Swiftness now. Um, I gave you Fearful Impact because I actually have you on the Zweihander now. Um, and I want you to level that up, but because you don't have, uh, that, uh, level 10 and two-handed swords, Voltaire, um, I wanted you to have, like, a powerful attack to use your MP for, so, uh, I put Fearful Impact on, so I think that will be cool. I don't really think we need Lament of the Dead, uh, on... It is within two tiles, so there's a chance it could be useful, but maybe I get concentration instead. Nah, we'll just leave it like that for now. It seems kind of redundant to have both of these on, but it's fine. So that's what you're rocking. Um, you also have the chainmail plus one on, of course, which is pretty good against Pierce, honestly, once you've upgraded that chainmail. Um, for you, Sarah, mostly the same stuff. Mostly the same stuff for you as well, Miles. Um, you have Seraph's Pact, Mother's Blessing, there's nothing really extra to put on there. Nothing for you. Um, for you, Hook, I gave you the Rapier, even though I have a Morningstar plus one. Because the Morningstar is more useful against um, reptiles, but we're not really fighting any. So I want to level up your swords so you have two different options, because the swords are very versatile. Because you can have slash weapons, like the Shamshir, or you can have uh, stab weapons like the uh, like the rapier there. So it's pretty versatile. I like that. So we're going to be leveling you up on that. So, yep. I think that's basically everything I wanted to go over there. Uh, oh yeah, of course on Batarin we I put um, Tame on. So we can try to recruit that dragon. Because I think that would be neat. So, yeah. I think we are good. I needed to get some more rings for everyone. Um, from the shop, because Yuhuk and Batarin don't have rings. But, uh, yeah. Alrighty. I think we are good to go. That Wait, that does remind me about one thing. I did get some, like, crazy new class things, yeah? 
Do, are those usable by anyone? I swear I got something wild. I think it might be like a monster class thing, though. Maybe. The only ones I could think of, yeah, it would be like the Vartan... The Vartans or, um, like Yuhuk that could possibly change into it. Um, I think it's like a monster class, uh, thingy that I have. Um, I don't know... Here we go, inventory. Uh, Berserker, Knight, Cragworm. Class might require to change classes to Earth Dragon. Okay, so that's like a Imperigrin. Class might require to change class to Vartan. Oh, cool. So I could swap your class now. Uh, change class to Familiar, Clay Golem. Okay, interesting, interesting. So can I just change monsters into something else? I don't think so. I think this is if I get, like, a fairy and I change the fairy into an archer, for example. This is so I can change them back to their main class. Interesting. Alrighty. Um, all of that editing and thing is out of the way there. Let's go ahead and start. I think we are good to go on Lake Bordeaux. Lake Baudois. Boudoir. Resistance? Here? I thought they rallied in the Sanji Weald. Wait. I know that face. You're the Wallister that did for Balmamusa. I saw the bill for your bounty. Bad enough you made it seem our work, but to slaughter your own. Ah, faithless swine. So young for acts so foul. No wonder the Duke outmaneuvered you so easily. Believe what you will. We played no part in that pantomime. Damn straight. It's no good. Even our fellow Wallastar convinced you were behind it. What hope have you of convincing this crowd of your innocence? No hope, really. So instead, I'll just stab them to death. And the fact remains, they are Gargastani and we are Wallister. We are honor-bound to fight. Why does it have to be that way, though? It's as the lady says. I care nothing for the bounty on your heads. One Wallister is much like another. Only good to me, dead. Rally to me! For our brothers! For our homeland! Ah, nothing like crazy nationalist tendencies to just make two different places hate each other just for the sake of hating each other before they even know the other person. Alrighty, well, we are going to try... I can't get the octopus now, but I am more interested in the dragon than the octopus, to be fair. So, I'm fine with that. I couldn't equip both on Batarin, so I'm fine with that. The octopus is a bit more niche in its use, so... I do want to try to grab some of those Vartans, though. Bogun. Boom. Molossos. Ooh, big damage. And the stun! Oh yeah, this stuns! Right? That's its added ability. Yes! Oh my god, that's so cool. That's so cool. I like having that now. My god. That's gonna be amazing. Bonus objective complete. And I successfully stunned the dragon. My god, Cashua, you have 400 HP. 479, but, but still low HP. More water. All of these water levels, I swear. I know it's coming, but I am just more interested in using Yuhuk than uh, Katrina. I like having a nice diverse party. That's uh, one of the things that definitely interests me about this game. Um, how you don't have a party just full of humans. Because, um, like, you know, in Tactics you could recruit beasts and monsters, but... I mean, they were fine, but... Honestly, most of the time the only kind of monsters I used were like... I think I used a Mind Flayer once, because those are fun. Um, and I used, like, some chocobos sometimes, because chocobos can be pretty busted. Um, but for the most part, I just ran, like, you know, human parties. So, it's neat in this game that you not only can you use different races, but, um, there's so many different types of monsters. Some of them can use equipment and all these various things. It makes me want to have, like, you know, so many different races and species represented here. Um, it's definitely, definitely cool in that regard. I love it. It really, really makes me want Tactics Ogre to kind of come back to the forefront. I hope Square Enix kind of sees how well this does and kind of brings it back because it does do so many things interesting compared to a lot of other SRPGs that I've played. Like, even Fire Emblem, you know, you have... Most of your characters are human. You have some variation and stuff, but not that much. 
but this has so much variation in the types of units that you can use and stuff like that. Like, Fire Emblem obviously has, like, Manikeets, and, um, some of the games had, like, different races and stuff, but not that much, and Final Fantasy Tactics, like, A2 in particular. Oh, you just got rid of the stun. How dare you. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics A2 in particular had, like, you know, you could get, uh, Viera and things like that on your squad. Which is, of course, cool, but nothing this in-depth, and especially nothing this in-depth from this early on, like... This game came out, you know, a lot earlier than a lot of the other ones, but they have so much in here. It's just filled to the brim with content. It's so cool. I will never not be amazed by it. Ow. How dare you throw a boulder at me. There's kind of something really cool about the monsters as well. They can counter from far away. Which is nice. Um, this feels like a little bit of a waste, but you have nothing better to do. So just heal up, Sarah. Uh, absolutely nothing for you to do. But yeah, once I get some more money, I might buy some of those, um... Mana restoration things, because they just seem like they'll be useful. So, we'll, we'll, we'll think about that. Boom. I can't wait till I can make an actual Dragoon out of you. And we breached you. So... Breach? I mean, that just looks like lower physical defense. Um, I can look at the status effects, I believe. Um, on this screen, I want to say? Yeah, right here. I think? Oh, no, oh, there it is. Physical defense weakened, light resistance weakened, so yeah, that's what it is. So, cool. Batarin, uh, I want you to get as close to that dragon as possible. And we are going to try to not murder it. Kashua and RSL. Yeah, you can kill the octopus all you want. I don't care about that stupid thing. Sorry, octopus. You pissed me off when you wouldn't let me recruit you before. Apologies and all that, but you're kind of a jackass. Um, could I? Mm, nah, it's probably not worth it. Deadshot? Yeah, sure, that's good damage. Welcome, hi, hi, I, I think. I, I, I skipped through it because we've seen these a bunch. But I still don't have them memorized. Um, so... I'm kind of scared Didim would almost kill this thing. 205. God, that breach does damage. Or it makes you do damage, rather. <clears throat> it's quite useful. Um, you. This is why. Yeah. Alrighty, that's, that's a thing. Um, something someone mentioned last time, I did notice it. Um, uh, I saw uh, a comment specifically mentioning, um that bosses are mostly weak to, or uh, resistant to debuffs and stuff. I usually don't like when games do that, because then it makes debuffs feel like they're kind of useless, but this game, the normal enemies are difficult enough that they can still be useful against, you know, normal enemies. You just can't use them against bosses to totally trivialize the boss. It's a fine line you have to balance, because you can either make debuffs work on bosses and just totally trivialize them if someone's playing well, or you can make the bosses immune to them, which then just screws over people that really, really lean into debuffs. So, it's a tough line to walk, but uh, I feel like this game does it well. Any game where, you know, generic enemies like this are actually dangerous is fantastic. That's that's one of my, my gripes with some, uh, like, modern JRPGs and just uh, JRPGs in general, is a lot of the time... Um... Generic enemies just aren't scary. Um, it's one of the benefits of, like, CRPGs, for example. Um, in CRPGs, usually every single battle you get into can be life or death. Um, depending on what difficulty you play on, of course. So, it's neat when JRPGs kind of do that, too. And SRPGs are definitely better about it than, um, just, 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 like, turn-based JRPGs and things. But it is always unfortunate once you hit a JRPG and the fights kind of just become nothing. Um, especially in JRPGs with random battles. Because you're- you kind of just go through the motions, you just wipe things out for the sake of wiping them out, and they're never really scary. It's more interesting when every single battle is impactful. I obviously still love JRPGs, and I love random battles and all of that stuff. But, you can still- you can still point out some things that you think would be an improvement on things with- while still loving them. In fact, that usually shows that people love them even more. So, I want to hit you. I think I want to hit you. My 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 long talk about JRPGs over, and my thoughts on JRPGs aside. I just think it's cool, and this game is cool. 
And I wanted to point out what it does well. Because that does a lot of things well. Yep, that did 133 damage actually, but you were hitting um, Kashua, so that makes sense. 7% chance to tame here. If I get right beside you, 26% chance. Join me. Damn you. Um, so, let's try out the thing people mentioned. Um, let's do... So, end your turn. Casual goes. Um, and RSL goes. Yep, big damage. Okay, so now let's, um, Chariot Taro. Go back to your turn. And we move right here. And I could, like... So, I think... Let's see. So, if I throw a stone, I think I can still use a skill after throwing a stone. So, let's, like, throw a stone at you. Okay, that changes things. I can move right here. I can still use a skill. So, this will be a different roll because I technically did a different f version of events. So... Boom. We still failed it. But... If you do that, and then we get around to RSL's turn, if I go and look at the Chariot Tarot, it should have two different versions of events now. Um, so, let's look at that just to make sure what I did worked here. Yeah, so there's two different versions of events because there was a divergence here. So, that is cool. That is very, very cool. I love how in-depth this is, how it replays every single action. It's so cool. Like, you just get a little replay of everything. This Tactic Soaker just really is a, a strategist's, like, wet dream. It's amazing. This game. I definitely, after playing this now, I feel like anyone that enjoys SRPGs as a genre owes it to themselves to play um, this game. Oh, I should have done that. Um, does that buff stay... That's like the star buff, yeah, okay, so it'll be on my next attack, cool. Um, but yeah, I definitely feel like anybody that loves the genre owes it to- owes it to themselves to kind of play this. Um, I- I will say, like, this Gaia, for example, I've- I've always been a- ooh, Magic Leaf. I've always been a really big fan of this Gaia, but the- the recent ones have kind of disappointed me, because... The battles just are kind of nothing in Disgaea at this point. It's basically just grinding and then everything is just super, super easy. That's one of my complaints with Disgaea, specifically the most recent one I played. Um, the battles were just nothing. Like, it may have just been because I was stupid when I was a kid, but um, I actually had difficulty with some of the battles in Disgaea. But when I played the new one recently, they were all just piss easy. Um, and it's like, that's whatever. If you just like, if you just like this guy for the numbers game, that's fine. I liked it when it was more like, you know, still tactical and everything. I thought that was a fun part of this guy. But, um, yeah, so it's nice playing another game like this that, uh, seems to be, you know, leaning more into the difficulty and stuff. Obviously, the game used to be way more difficult, uh, back when permadeath was a thing. But, you know. Oh, you- Oh my god! That was a play. Voltaire... Mm, yeah. Yeah. That, uh... That was gruesome. That was gruesome, what you just did to me. That was quite insane, actually. That was... The setup of a century. <laughs> like, can we... You know what, let's look at the cherry tail. Let, let's replay that, why don't we? Just to, just to get the maximum effect. So... You walk over there, you smack me, crit me into that, so that the pincer attack goes off in the back to do tons of damage to me. Then you come over and do the fire snake thing to me, which hits twice. Props. My god, props, AI. That was, that was magical. That was truly, truly magical. Um, could do 120 damage to you, but I think I would rather hit this fart in here. I gotta kind of, uh, wear them down a little bit. Ow, the Dargan. Okay, it doesn't hit that hard. Vulcan Lance on me, that's fine. Spark Sphere on me, that's fine. You're a mage, you can take it. Uh, okay, so let's heal up Kashua. For sure. 
And we're gonna have to get over there and revive Voltaire soon. I did kind of send Voltaire, like, right into the thick of it, to be fair. So that was kind of rude of me, but... Um, I didn't think he'd get bopped that hard, to be fair. You got bopped very hard, Voltaire. <laughs> it was, uh, quite amazing. I'm in this shot. Who are you shooting? Oh. Um, I think that's another heal for Kanshua here. Because I just, I want you to survive, damn it. If possible. I didn't get to do the training with you. Please don't kill the... Okay, okay, yeah, you're just killing the octopus. That's fine. I, I love that, actually. Don't you throw things! Oh my god, jerk. Uh, Yuhuk, you're next in line to get the shit knocked out of you. Um... Let's see here. Um, let's smack you with this, though. There you go, go ahead and take that negative card there. Even though it did absolutely nothing. Okay, so... The thing to keep in mind here, I can attack and still run away and do... try to recruit the dragon, so let's attack. Move. And tame. 30% chance. Yay! Molossus has been recruited. We got ourselves a Dargan! Look at us! Owie. Owie! Damn you. Okay. Denim, I'm gonna need you to just slip this dagger in between the cheeks there. Oh, Perry, your back was turned. You just have a buckler on your ass. I mean, good call, if so. That's quite impressive, but... Um, can I just kill you with a regular stab? I can. You get poked. There we go. Uh, Miles, yeah, you're gonna need to, um... You're gonna need to run away, friend. We might get you to drop a paralytic wave, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> that looks magnificent. Run away! I would love to get that thing over there for you, um... But, uh, I don't think that's gonna work out for me. Alright, RSL, bop people. Thank you. Ow! It's okay, you who can handle it. Alright, we got a dragon. Bite, tail lash, short range attack that deals crushing damage with a tail flick that could tear through bedrock. Slashing air damage, multiple targets caught in the path of the vortex. Boulder blow, send a rock flying into the air, and bite. Okay, you are interesting. Um, I obviously don't want you to die, so why don't you just grab that card there, um, and we'll work on healing you up, friend. Um, let's see, increased magic damage for you? Don't know. I think we need to work on taking out Marguerite here. Yeah, I can't shoot you. Um, ooh, I can do big damage to Giselle. Or Frederick. Oh yeah, let's mess Frederick up. There we go. 156. Oh yeah, and I got the stun. I, I refreshed your stun. Congratulations. Haha. -ha. Nice stumble. Uh, go ahead and heal Sophie. Thank you, thank you. Lodwick meditating over there. I do like having a... Uh, my two healers here. Hate you. Hate you very, very much. Um, that's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. Uh, 49 to you, 82 to you. Or I could do 94 to you. Let's hit you. Good stuff. Still can't afford a tremendous shot. Yeah, see, that's the reason I need some of, uh, the, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? That's the reason I need some of the MP leaves, the magic leaves on people. Just to help with things like that. Damn it, Miles. Why'd you have to die? I might have been able to heal you up. I probably should have. But I, I thought you would be safe. I didn't think that enemy was going to be able to reach you, but sure enough. The magic. Kind of annoying. Uh, it's fine, though. We got to get to Voltaire, but... Everyone else is fine. I can use the dragon as a tank as well, here. 
So let's stab you. I'm gonna attack you from the front, just because I wanna run over here and grab this crit card. Beautiful. And uh, I can Sanguine Salt. Beautiful. Go get him, Denim. Ow. My dragon is on its way. Better watch your ass. 162, that is good damage. Oh yeah, dragon is nice. The bluey. I like that you have access to, to me melee and ranged attacks. That's quite cool. Oh! I'm sorry, Denim. I cannot remain here. Kashua, you're never going to be able to remain here. <laughs> Poor Kashua. My god. Yeah, I'm going to need to... I'm going to need to to help you level. Um, for sure. So, what would do more damage? Um, lightning bow? I can't even hit you with the lightning bow. I wanted that card, but... Let's just, uh, ruinate you. There we go. I love spears so much. Definitely one of my favorite weapon types in games. Uh, you hook? Uh, 131... Yeah, that looks good to me. Once again, you hook. That's not how you use a rapier. I could have done that and maybe killed you. I'm a doof. It's fine, though. RSL's doing work. Um, so... Definitely want to get Batarin over here. Oh, damn you. Damn you to hell. Uh-oh. Oh. Why? Oh, oh well, it was a, it's an auto skill, so... Huh! Owie. Yeah, I mean, that can be scary in the right circumstances. Um, but, yeah. It's a little scary when it's on my characters. Uh, I do believe someone in the comments mentioned that um, if I specifically don't want to proc it, I can just use a shield. And then it won't proc uh, the Berserk. So that could be useful. Um... Alrighty. No. Hello. 174 to you, or 71 to you. Definitely 174 to you. Boom. Keep checking my skill there, because I'm like, wait, what skill do I have on? And then I remember. Oh. Man, could you imagine if I had Berserk on, and I could somehow get Denim, like, right here? God, the the, the the sheer carnage I could unleash. Uh, Donalto, there's not really a lot for you to do, unfortunately. Um, we do need to go ahead and get someone over there to get up Voltaire sometime soon. Um, you're almost dead. I don't have enough for a tremendous shot. Yeah, I'm too shy. That's fine. My dragon's turn is coming up, and I might be able to get, like, a three-person hit there. So let's shoot you. And then we'll let our dragon possibly take care of things. Ow, that's annoying. Oh! Oh! Don't do that. Yes. Okay, this is what I wanted. Vortex Breath! Oh my god! The Dimaggio. Dragon scary. Who would have thought? A dragon scary? No, never. Um, you. I do have enough for another ruination here. You are getting a little bit low on HP. Yeah, we're kind of hitting that point where I need to heal. But I am at least taking some of them out. Self. Okay, no, you shot the Nalta. That's good. Thought you were gonna shoot uh, Selfina. Ooh, almost killed there. Yes. Do you have pincer attack, Batarin? You do not. Um, you do have enough for your special skill, though, soon. So... That sh should be enough to kill you? Maybe not, actually. I was going to try and move Denim over here, but... Heart Crusher, a medium range dagger attack that deals slashing damage to a target by calling forth a raging whirlwind. Wait, so I can reach you? Oh my god, that's incredibly useful. 431 damage, you say? 
431 damage, you say? Batteran, how far can you move? You could move and kill Giselle. So I should let Denim take care of you. Having a ranged attack on Denim like that, that's useful. Uh, oh, it's not going to do as much damage to you, though. Uh, that is unfortunate. So I couldn't actually kill you with it. But it'll still do a ton of damage, so I think I'm still going to do it. Yeah. If it crit, it would do even more, but... Wonderful. Yeesh. Um... Let's see, your turn is coming up, your turn is coming up. Um, you're right there. Yeah, who do I want to hit? Probably Lodwick here. Yeah, let's go ahead and take you out. Alright, the uh, other problem being the ninja is currently in our back line. And that needs to be dealt with. Um, let's heal up. Selfina here. I really need ways for you guys to get mana faster. Um, okay, you're dead. That's fantastic. Oh my god, the parry. So wait, what does parry... What does... I, I keep getting parried. What does parry actually do? Uh, grants a chance to completely avoid attacks. Okay, I was wondering if it had like an increased, a chan inc increased chance when, um... You're, like, attacking from the front or something like that. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, your turn is coming up. I want to try something. I want to try something. So, let's end your turn, Batteron. Mother's Blessing. Um, and let's... Chariot Tarot, back to your turn. Let's try moving you over here. And see if I can get something different. Maybe? Heavy X? There we go. So yeah, I can just do away with that parry by Chariot Tarrowing back. Nice. So now you're dead, so your turn's not coming up. That's smart use of that, I think. Um, could you reach there with the Blessing Stone? You can. Because Voltaire needs to get up. Or Voltaire will die. And I'll be very sad if Voltaire dies. All right, get up, friend. Lament of the dead. Okay, you're afraid. Um, your turn is coming up. I don't think I could kill you, yeah? Yeah, no, we can't do nearly enough damage there. You, I could do 154 too, so we might as well just kill the archer here. Yeah, Giselle, bye-bye. <clears throat> and then... Run away. Voltaire. How dare you hit my dragon? Yeah, the dragon does do a lot of damage. I definitely like that about it. Okay. We can dark weight you. That's enough to kill. Huri. Wonderful, you are dead. Awesome. Alrighty, so now we just have to worry about the ninja mostly. Um. Yeah, I mean, that that seems pretty good to me. Canopus, uh, oops. You need to be slightly further back to actually hit. That looks good. I keep checking that, because I'm like... I, I just want to make sure I use my, like, mighty shot skills and stuff, so I've got, kind of gotten into a habit of doing that very often. Um, so yeah. That's why that keeps happening. Um... I think everyone else can take care of Ginzo, or, uh, the, the Beastmaster over there, so. You really don't like Voltaire, huh? You really just despise Voltaire, huh? How very rude of you. It's fine. I can start just killing you, so. Uh, this isn't gonna hit both of you, right? The spear attack? It shouldn't. It should only hit one. Yeah, okay. If, if I was doing a regular stab, yeah, I would have been a little bit more scared there. Um, yeah, that requires 50. Uh, not really much for you to do. Alright, once again, unfortunate that Casual is not going to be getting uh, XP here, but... 
If I want to use that boon, I'm definitely going to have to get Denalta some more MP. If I want to start getting that off regularly. Um... Magic card. What's the range that this... Is this, like, melee range? Yes, it is. Um... How much will this do? 127, 90% chance. Yeah, sure. Bop. I just wanted to make sure it didn't kill you, because I don't want the fight to be over yet. Uh... Yeah, I, I need to get more of the auto skill things onto Nalto so that MP restoration goes off more often. Let's just grab some of this. And heal you up. Beautiful. My dragon's turn is coming up here, along with you. Oh my god, you monstrosity. I love you. Good, good. And you are dead. Alright, now we can win the battle. Beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. So, if I move right here... I can hit you with a Tail Lash, which does just enough damage. Cool! Or, oh, the roll, the bad roll. Ow, ow. I got a low roll, so the damage wasn't high enough. But that's fine, Canopus can shoot you in the back. Oh no, it's gonna hit your body. Oh, oh damn it. Get out of the way, Voltaire, your, your stupid dumb corpse. Whatever, RSL, finish it. Uh, but yeah, it's cool to have a dragon. My struggle ends too soon. Glory to Galgastan. Glory. See you in hell, friend. <sighs> there we go. Completed all my bonus objectives, got myself a dragon, which seems absurdly strong. Um, also got a bunch of other stuff. That is hopefully a lot of money. Ooh, ninja! Ninja mark. Yes! That's exciting. That's exciting. Um, I'm interested in ninja, let's say. Very, very interested in ninja. Good job leveling up, Yuhuk. And RSL. Okay, everybody except for Kashua is at level cap now. Uh, poor Kashua. Poor, poor Kashua. Molossus wants to join the party. Well, guess what, Molossus? You're very, very welcome to join the party. Get in here. Not enough to auto restock. Okay, and then yeah, there's Tyne Mouth. So Tyne Mouth is next. Um, <clears throat> I definitely want to go back over here and do some quick shopping. Um, and I also think I want to see... God, that's a lot of money. I want to see what it'll be like to potentially turn Denim into a ninja. Now that we have access to that. Ninjas are very, very powerful, so it makes sense. I would want you to be a ninja, Denim. Let's, uh, see exactly what we can do here. Um, there it is. So, Nimble Warrior prefers hit-and-run tactics to an open fight. Their attacks with double weapons can be vicious. You're very agile, you're very, very fast, and you can jump high. Yes. It looks good to me. Where? Alrighty, so you can still use daggers. That is fantastic. You can also use blowguns. Also cool, you can use short bows. So, I think I need to get you another dagger, friend. I think I need you another dagger. Cool, we got ourselves a ninja. Um, so I can equip two, yet yeah, double attack, yes. We can also use katanas. Accuracy and damage of one-handed katana and offensive magic increase. Accuracy and damage of one-handed katana and offense magic increase with level, really? You're seeing damage of daggers. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay. So, yeah, I could use katanas, but I already have did them on daggers, so I think I might stick with daggers. Ninjutsu hits with 100% accuracy. Inflicts false strike on enemies within one tile. Chance of success increases with rank. And causes attacks to hit if they're being made to targets back. Well, smoke screen definitely sounds interesting, and I definitely want double attack. Um, so. 
Yeah, um, Constitution may have to come off. I do like Constitution, but... Let's see, Denim's Intelligence is 71, so... You're not the most suited to magic, but, I mean, I have Ninjutsu, so I might as well put it on you, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we, we might as well. Wind Dervish and Sand Spider. Yeah, I mean, I see no reason not to. And that makes uh, Ninjutsu hit with 100% accuracy. So, yeah, that looks good to me. I do like having you set up like that, Denim. So now I gotta go and grab some equipment from the shop. I got a lot of upgrading to do, I do believe. Oh yeah, what other, what other things do you have access to? Increase move by two, you say? Special skills to hit with 100% accuracy and prevent them from being parried or deflected. Short range attack to deals dark damage to multiple targets with a blast of numbing breath. Has a chance to leaden. And yeah, that's the slashing air one. Okay. Has a chance to inflict misstep. Okay. Well, you seem cool. You have the Rampart Aura on, which is interesting. Um, I think I want the extra movement on you, because that is just amazing, quite frankly. Um, let's swap those two things around. So you have Tail Lash, and you could, you could do Toxic Breath. Let's see, and I imagine Tail Lash, yeah, it's crushing damage, this is magic damage. So, I imagine these use, to determine their damage, they use, um, these two use intelligence, possibly, and this uses strength. So, your strength is definitely higher than your int, but I am interested in these. I'll give Toxic Breath a shot. Um, you can't equip any spells. I can give you items. That's a funny thought. Um, and you have no finishing moves. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this this seems cool. I'm very happy to have a dragon added to the party here. So let's sort you. Put you over here. I could also put that thing on Batarin that allows me to buff dragons now too. Which could be powerful. Alrighty. So Selfina, what are you missing? The Blessing Stone. I do need more of those. Alright. Let's go shop. Okay, so I upgraded a lot uh, of equipment. Um, I have a pretty good amount of upgraded chain leggings here now, uh, as well as we have a pretty good amount of upgraded leather leggings. Um, I also upgraded a lot of gauntlets and uh, leather sleeves. So we got a bunch of those now, should the option be needed. I got denim, another dagger, which has been upgraded. So, I just got two of the dirks. I was trying to decide if I should just upgrade a battle knife instead. Um, because the battle knife, you know, it seems, especially since things have different on-hit effects and bonuses, the battle knife had a higher pierce uh, damage and gave some different stats, like it gave strength and two decks. Um, but, it gave le but it gave less agility and avoid. So, it it's useful. I was gonna, I, I wanted to have two different daggers on, but um, I just went ahead and went with the dirk because it has a higher base damage anyway. Um, so that's what we're rocking there. Um, I also upgraded everyone's, uh, rings. Because upgrading the rings just gives them more resistances and everything. So that is cool. Um, so everybody just has better rings now. So that's good. So the accessories are just better. I forgot to get an accessory for both of you. Whoopsie doopsie. Uh, I think I can afford to get maybe one. But, uh, I don't think I need one for both of you. We're probably gonna be dropping some people from the party here. Um, if I want to bring everyone in. Um, let's buy one more ring, though. Um, how about a warrior's ring? Beautiful. So, now that we have that, um, let's put that on Yook. Beautiful. Cool. So yeah, everybody should be upgraded with all their new good stuff. And we should be fine. Casual is still rocking some some shitty equipment, I realize, too. I don't even have you on a mage's robe. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. I will level Casual up, I promise, when uh, I have more time and stuff. 
but I think we're good to go ahead and do another level this episode. Um, I have a s some spare time today, so I think now's a good time for me to try and do two battles in one episode here. Hopefully this doesn't bite me in the ass. We will see. So, yep. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I don't think I want to change anyone else around, really. Um, yeah, I don't feel much need to do so. I'm pretty happy with the party how it is currently. Um, I do want to give Donalto... So I did make some magic leaves as well. Um, I have 13 magic leaves plus ones. So uh, you can have some of those. Um, and we'll also give them to um, Selfina here. And then uh, Denim could probably use them as well. So who else would I want these on... Uh, maybe you, Cloud Dragon. Yeah. Uh, and I think I'll, I think that's all I'll put them on for right now. So, yeah, that looks good to me. Cool. So, alrighty. Let's just go ahead and hop into another battle here. Uh, I'm gonna update my save. So, let's check out Tyne Mouth Hill, why don't we? This might be a very difficult fight and I might be making a mistake. Let go! Win with a knight in the party, use magic to heal, obtain a buff. Ooh, I don't have a knight. Um, well, that's unfortunate. Whoa! Anyone notice anything weird? I can't scout the battle. I can't scout the battle. Am I crazy? Oh wow, it's making me go in intentionally blind here. Maybe it's an ambush, maybe that's why? It's an ambush so I don't get the opportunity to look at the battle beforehand. Well, that's kind of scary. Um, it's on Tynemouth Hill so we don't have to worry about water, so I can use these units. Let me customize my party here and see what I want to go with. Quite happy as I am. Oh yeah, I forgot. You can't change guests' classes. I was gonna try changing you into a knight to see if you maybe have a little bit easier of a time living, but yeah, I forgot you can't do that. Um, but I did make some changes to the party. So, um, Sarah is now a knight because um, with RSL in the party, I don't feel like we need another archer along with Canopus. So I put you as a knight because we need one in the party for the bonus objective. And also, you can heal us and stuff. So, that's one change. Um, I think I'm taking you out of the party for this fight, Selfino, because I want to put the dragon in. Um, and you're the only one I really feel super comfortable taking out. So... I think this is the squad I'm gonna roll with. Derwin can heal, Donalto can heal, and Sarah can heal. And then, of course, Badrin can heal as well with the Mending Seeds, and everyone has Mending Seeds on them. So, I think this will work. Um, our healing does take a little bit of a hit, because Selfina has Mother's Blessing and all of that. But I think having a tankier unit that can heal like Sarah will just be more effective. Also, it allows me to bring the Dragon in. So, uh, the other change I made... So, Sarah is a knight now. Um, Selfina, I just grabbed some of the equipment off of. And Yuhuk is a Berserker now, because, um, I was really, I'm like, Warrior's kind of just whatever. It's kind of the Squire, I guess, of this game. It's just kind of, they can use a bunch of weapons, but they don't really have any unique abilities or anything. So I changed you into a Berserker. I also feel like it's just more fitting for you. I like the idea of just super pissed off reptile person just r dashing through the battlefield. So, since you're pretty tanky, I have Berserk on you, and you can kind of run off on your own and just mess people up. You also have some healing items for yourself and all of that. So, yep, those are the changes that I made. You have Toxic Breath, Dash, Pincer Attack, all that stuff on. So, since I can't really prep what my equipment is, I put a bunch of the leather sleeves on just because I'm fully expecting a bunch of, ar of archers and piercing things. But, uh, yeah, I think with that... We are pretty good here. Um, let's sort the party a little bit. Let's put Selfina at the back since I'm not really using Selfina as much anymore. 
And uh, let's have the dragon and Batarin together. Because they are friends. Okay, yeah, I think this is the party I'm going to go with. So, yeah, that looks good to me. Let's uh, go ahead and do this. The recording's at an hour and a half right now. Um, I've cut I've cut a lot of stuff out, so hopefully this video doesn't become too long. But I wanted to do this. There's no one here. Hmm. Strange. Perhaps they've already joined the others in the Sanji Weald. Or it's an ambush. It's Vice. It's an what? ambush. Impossible. Hi, Jerk. Good to see you again, Denno. Show me your super evil portrait. And looking so well. I worry some second-rate headhunter had done for you. What are you doing here? The Holy Knight Lancelot. Where is he? Vice! What business have you here? I thought you in the Sanju Weald. And I thought you dead, Aracel. Guess we were both wrong. They say you ignored Leonard's orders and chased down Denno. But this... Oh, so that's the way of it. Turned traitor, have you? Fool woman, you choose the losing side. I choose no side until I have judged for myself who the traitors among us truly are. What are you doing here, Vice? Where's Lancelot? <laughs> All these years, and still you surprise me. I did not think false whispers would lure you so easily. Yeah, I mean, this was a, this was a pretty simple trap. Hook, line, and sinker, textbook, all that. Your Zenobian's not here. No doubt he's in rhyme by now, deep in his cups. Sorry you won't be joining, but you die here. Duke's orders. None with eyes at Balma Musa are to live. Uh, what? You too, Eriso. If the truth were to get out, it would mean no end of trouble. Now do you believe us? You were at Bama Musa, Vice? Aye, that I was. With your beloved Leonard, no less. Uh, so wait, you knew nothing of what was planned. Not a word? No. No. Leonard must be mad. Only a lunatic would pay such price for victory. Yeah. Pity you learn the truth, girl. There'll be no reconciling with Leonard now. You're not one to look the other way. Kill them all. Spare no one. Bye, Vice. Oh, no, 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 you're staying to fight. Okay, vanquish Vice. That's our objective. You are level 15. Um, we are currently in the thick of it. You two are gonna die so hard because your AI is just gonna have you charge at the enemy. Um, hmm. Yeah, I gotta say, so far, um, uh, Vice, not quite a Delita. Um, Delita was such an interesting character. Um, I'm assuming I'm saying that right. That's kind of how I've pronounced the name ever since I was a kid. So, I don't remember. Um, I think that was how they pronounced it in Lion War. I don't think it's like Delita or something like that, but, um, yeah, Delita to me is a very, very interesting character. Um, Vice isn't quite that. I have heard some people say that, um, Vice is much more interesting if you do actually choose to go the lawful route. Um, so I'll see that at some point in my life. Depending on how long the game is and the LP goes, I might even do the other paths like I did for, um, Triangle Strategy. We'll just have to see how much work it'll be. A Cyclops, Latinos. Uh, you have... Interesting. Magic. Glare. Hobble enemy units. And... Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, and you are... A Dragoon. Yes. Yes, I want you. I want you. Get ready, Derwin. Your class is here. Um... Alrighty. Well, I didn't have time to properly prepare for this battle. So I just want to take a look. Did I did I make the right choices on what I want to run? Um, you're using daggers, interestingly. You have balder armor. Do you have the balder slag sword? It's for all the Dark Souls fans out there. Um, okay, you do not. You are an assassin, which... 
Killer of Men for Hire who uses any moons at their disposal to claim their mark. You have double attack, so I'm guessing that's just similar to Ninja. Um, so yeah, I do have my Pierce resistant equipment on. Uh, bow, bow. Yeah, I mean, the Pierce resistant equipment wasn't a terrible choice. There is more like crush and stuff in here than normal though. Um, and like slash. Alrighty, so let's just check everybody else really quickly. So double attack and what's this? Immunity to poison, petrify, sleep, charm, stop, curse, and knockbacks. Scary. And you also have heart crusher. Rampart, Phalanx, all that jazz. Drain Mind and Drain Heart. You have two-handed swords. Fearful Impact. Okay. Cudgels on you. Bows on you. Bows. Yeah. Beast Slayer causes melee attacks on beast units to deal increased damage and hit with 100% accuracy. Ooh. Ooh. If Dragoons have, like, extra damage against certain enemy types, that'll be amazing. Tail Lash, Flame Breath. Lobber, Empower Beasts, and yeah, alrighty. Well, let's get in here, why don't we, and see what we can pull off. Um, what's your movement range? Just want to make sure you can- you would be able to bot me if I ran up on that enemy. Uh, attack with both weapons simultaneously. Throwing dagger. Really? Interesting. Very, very interesting. God, look at how many uh, different things I can do with you now. Back with both weapons simultaneously. Um, yeah, I mean, that could be interesting to do. You know, uh, we have the, uh, the Chariot Tarot, so I can play a little bit risky here. Ow. Never mind. I blocked it. Uh, okay. Yeah, look at that big movement. Boulder Blow. Uh, don't mind this, Denim. It's gonna fly right over your head. Ow. Giant monsters throwing rocks at each other. <laughs> um, okay, Cannabis. Ooh, I want that. I want that for sure. Okay, so we are good there. Bonus objective has been completed. Good job running back, RSL. I'm proud of you. Thank you for doing the smart thing instead of the dumb. Ooh, you just got a skill trigger on that healer. That's annoying. Um, alright, you... So, I can't do Boon of Swiftness. I can't take a Magic Leap, though. Let's do it. Donalto, get that MP up, friend. We gotta start casting some spells. Cashua? Oh my god, you idiot. Cashua, you're just gonna die again. Oh my god, you're so stupid. Poor dumb AI, and you won't let me change your class. Why will you not let me change your class if you want to play like a knight? I tried to turn you into a knight, but you're like, no. I want to be a, 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 what are you, a priest? I want to be a priest and run into the middle of combat. Like, I, jeez, I have a death wish. Why do you do this? Why must you do this? Uh, all right, go ahead and hit you with one of those. That looks good to me. Miles, um, what do I want to do with you, Miles, if anything? Uh, I would hit Denim, so that's a no-go. Tornado, Charm is an option. I mean, let's Tornado you. If I could kill the Cyclops before the healer got in here to save your life, that would be amazing. Uh, oh, I forgot to put in power, damn it, I forgot to put in power dragon on you. Yeah, that's a mistake. Um, it's not one I'm going to restart the battle for, but uh, yeah, I meant to put that on Batarin and I forgot. Whoopsie. Whoopsie doopsie. There's so much to keep track of when getting ready for battle in uh, this game. There's just so much. All right, Voltaire. Um, yeah, you go ahead and get in there as well. Can't really do too much, friend, so just wait. Yeah, I don't think we, like, need it. Um, it would be helpful, of course, but I think we'll survive. So, just get ready, everyone. Berserk is active. Alright, you hook, you're, you're going off on your own. See if you can get that boosted physical attack. Gashua has a death wish, we've been over this. Um, uh, Molossus? Dash, yes! Get in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's just an auto skill. It's not a passive boost. 
that would have been busted. Um, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, yeah, so now you can get in there, though. Um, unfortunately, you can't do anything but bite or throw a boulder. Um, how much damage did I do to, like, you? Pretty good damage. You did increased damage to beasts, right? Yeah, I don't have a beast. I have a Dargan. So, don't have to worry about that. You're quite tanky. Just go ahead and get in there and bite this stupid thing. Like I said, I want to kill it before the healer gets over here. Our dragon has a ton of HP, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, let's see. You have pincer attack, I believe. Yes. Now, if I could send Denim in there... Um, I could also do, like, one of these. And Dervish. Oh god, it does no damage. It does very, very little damage. Um, might be better just to save that. I think I want that physical attack up. Right there. Like, that's mostly what I want. And I want to save up for Heart Crusher, obviously. Uh, I wish there was a better thing for me to do here. How much damage could I do to you? Double attack in the back. Like I said, I could also just run up here and do a bunch of damage to you, but it wouldn't kill you. I think I just want the extra physical damage. I think getting these cards right now is going to be very important, and I think it's not worth it to waste my MP on Sand Spider there. It would do a little bit of damage to the Knight and the Cyclops, but not enough to make it worth it, in my opinion. So, yeah, Kashua. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know. I know, Kashua. It's okay. It's okay. Believe me. I understand. We'll we'll train with you off screen. It's fine. I'll do the little training missions and we'll we'll catch you back up. Don't you worry about it. Um Boon of Swiftness. So quicken a target. Um on denim probably. I think that's a good call. Denim get quickened. Yes. Oh yes, look at it. It's beautiful. Look at that, look at that super speedy, super speedy standing there and marching. Isn't it wonderful? Uh, let's get you over here, Canopus. That looks good to me. We finally have haste. I didn't even have to have a time mage for it. Oh, how dare you? Oh, you jackass. I can do that too. I can barely grant dodge to a single target. Try me. I'll do it. Um... Did not mean to do that. Okay, we're fine. Crit up, huh? Howie. My dark and tanky. This thing is really good. I quite like it. Ooh, you got spell strike, and they're in peak mess them up position. Um, get over there. This is putting you in a very spooky situation, I understand, but please. Okay, two. Two is good. Two out of three. I will take that. Uh, big stabs for Derwin coming up here. Yes. Physical damage up as well. It's always nice. Uh, you, Voltaire, go ahead and get in here. What's your chance to sleep someone? Not very high. Alright, let's just go ahead and smack the dragon. Level up those two-handed swords. Uh-huh. Yeah, the dragon's so nice. I love it. I do just love that uh, I, I really enjoy beasts on uh, this game. Like like I mentioned before, I didn't really use beasts that much in the other games, so it's just really nice to uh, be able to use them effectively in this. Let's heal up Voltaire, even though it's not much. When it's objective complete. You hook, get in there. You're about to just run in there and mess somebody up. Aqua Blasts. Good skill trigger. Okay. So, I want to make sure of something. I do understand what Quicken does, yes? It is just haste. Recovery time hastened. Okay, cool. Just wanted to be sure that I had the right idea. Okay. So... Denim does not have enough for Heart Crusher. Um... If I use a Magic Leaf on you... Would, uh... Hmm. Let's just move you up here. 
Um, I could... Throwing... Yeah, the throwing dagger does, like, nothing. Yeah, it, it basically just replaces my stone. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. I was like, what is this? What is it for? And I was like, oh, it's just the stone. It's just I'm a ninja, so I use throwing daggers, of course. Um, yeah, that, that's cute. That's, that's cute. So, uh, yeah, I could give myself some... Okay, you know what? Let's, let's check something. So if I get Magic Leaf you... Yeah, that does count as my actual action for the turn. Um, okay, that's, that's fine. We'll, um... We'll move Denim right here. Denim will get ready to go in there and mess people up. Ow. Ooh, you weakened RSL. That's annoying. Eat rock, nerd. Uh, let's see, magic card. No, where's the trap card at? I don't care about the magic card, I want the trap card. Uh, chance to poison or a little bit of extra damage. I think the chance to poison is worth it here. So, leadened. Beautiful. It was poison, right? Oh, major heal. There it is. Power beast. Uh huh. Eat it, nerds. Uh, okay, I can get right beside this dragon. Yeah, 98. Okay, all I have to do is defeat Vice. That's the main thing we gotta look at here. Um, I do have tame, so I can grab this dragon if the opportunity arises, and I may sell it. <laughs> because we could do that. We can auction our dragons off. Um,. I want to get this auto scale card for you, Canopus, but it's not like you have a ton to use MP on right now anyway, so let's just hold off on that. Ooh, I want to hit Saya, but let's let's hit the let's hit you. Ow. Alrighty. Looking good. Donalto. Fantastic. Let's cast a major heal. So I can heal both RSL and you. Beautiful. Yeah, having those magic leaves on you definitely, definitely help. Nope. None of that. Damn. Denim parried, parried the arrow with his dagger. I like to think the dagger was flying at Denim, and Denim, Denim used, like, inhuman reflexes to cut the shaft while it was in midair with the dagger. Getting, in, getting a little bit into the roleplay here. Uh... Let's see here, so 55, 66... Yeah, I'd say that's worth it. Just get those- just get that CC down. We need that- we need that crowd control, we need those debuffs. Beautiful. Ow, that actually works. Oh, wait, you, you don't- oh, wait, no, you do have stun on you. Oh, here comes the fearful impact. Uh, I'm frightened, damn it. Ooh, I breached you, though. Dark way. Wonderful, thank you for that. Alright, uh, you hook. Um... If you move right here, and attack, who all are you going to hit? All of them. Including Derwin. Hmm. And then if you move here, yeah, there's not a good spot for you hook to get in yet. Um, if I use Tyrant's Mace, though, I should still be good, right? So if I Tyrant's Mace here, yeah, that doesn't use it up. So why don't we do that, and then next round I can run in there with Berserk and just mess you up. Bonk. Beautiful, beautiful. That sounds like a good call to me. Denim? Uh, ooh, it's a bit risky to have you running in there, I think. But if I could get you, like, right here, Vice will be able to reach you, though. That's a scary thought. I could kill you, though. Then your turn's coming up. I think that's worth it. Mark Crusher. Having a ranged, powerful melee attack like that? Fantastic. I love it. Um, okay, let's move you up a little bit. Let's get another heal down on Derwin. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well. Going very, very well, I would say. Um right here, so I can get the stab on both of you. That looks like a good call to me. I could Ruination, but um, we are frightened right now, so it would do lower damage. I want to try and save my MP, maybe. Good stuff. Lament of the dead. 
get him Voltaire. Uh. Hmm. Let's see. Batarin. Move right here. I want to kind of stay away from Uhuk so Uhuk can just mess people up next round. That's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Um. So maybe Voltaire runs over here and starts working these people. Um, can I put anybody to sleep? Not really. Shit poopy doo doo chances of hitting anyone with that. Um, could drain heart on someone. Uh, 89 on Phrygia? Sure. You don't really have much else to do with your MP, so I'm fine with doing that. Well, you could fearful impact, but we still have enough for that, so. Tail Lash. Interesting choice. I don't know why you did that when I was the only one there. Yike. That hurts. Ooh, but you're breached. You're breached, Vice. Ow, pain. Um. Mm. Get, um. Let's see, how much damage would you do? 102 to you. Alternately, I could get the dragon to go in here and just start messing up their backline. Oh, you don't actually do that much damage to them. Yeah, never mind. Uh... Never mind. Let's just focus on this. Uh... Tail Lash you... Or... Yeah, Toxic Breath is the one that goes in a straight line. Boulder Blow... Ooh... You couldn't move to the healer. Let's hit you. Bonk. Ooh, that's perfect. They're all in range for Uhuk. Oh god, you, you're taking a millennia before your turn comes around, though. Damn it. Oh, that stupid heal. That healer needs to die. Thank you for moving closer to me. It'll be easier to murder you that way. Um, go ahead and get in there, Donalto. Okay, we can do a basic heal on Derwin. He definitely, definitely needs it. Yeah, that's that's for sure. You need that. Um, I don't want to get near Vice. Vice is kind of scary, but at the same time, I really want to kill Saya here. So, how much damage could I do to you? 187 twice. 187 twice. Do it. We gotta play risky. We gotta play risky. Give me your items too. RSL, please hit the correct person. RSL, you fool. You could have just killed the healer. Good stumble. God damn it, RSL. You've disappointed me for the last time. Alright. Batarin, just wail on this knight, I think. You could also heal some people. Mindleaf on Derwent? Nah. Nah. Ice prison on you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Whew. You know, uh, caught me off guard there. Caught me off guard there. <laughs> I did not expect that damage. Um, you have enough to kill you. I think that's worth it. Goodbye, Sense. There we go. We're, we're wearing them down. We're doing it. Owie. Okay. Um, Canopus. What do I want you to do? You can hit the healer. Um, you can hit the healer. It's a bit of a waste, but I think it's worth it to confirm it. Beautiful. Um, yeah, Canopus, go ahead and grab that auto skill. Sure. Less that they can pick up. Tremendous shots. Who are you shooting? Okay, that's whatever. Uh, we do need to get the heal down on you, so... I'm actually glad I turned Sarah into this. You're way more useful like this than you would have been as an archer. In my opinion. Alright, Yuhuk. Um, you got that. You got that thing going still. So, what do we want to do here? Um, that's gonna hit two people. I consider that worth it. 
I love my little berserk. Yes, I love my berserk lizard person. It's amazing. And I even got the pincer. Oh, I should have sanguine assaulted though. Actually, I don't know if I had enough MP before. But we got it for next round. Okay, this is good. This is good. I like this. Now that I'm learning a bit more about it, loving it. Um, I want to go here and stab both of you, but that's not going to work out. So we're instead going to go right here and do a little poke in your butt. There we go. Wipe them out. Beautiful. Good damage. How dare you steal my chain leggings? Who do you think you are? Um... Uh, let's see... Probably focus on beating you up. I'll probably recruit Perseus, so Perseus is not as big uh, an issue at the moment. Mo with a numbing breath, has a chance- I thought this poisoned. Chance to- let no, it's a leaden. It's called toxic breath, so I think my brain, like, defaulted to poison, even though it actually wasn't. That's a dead Voltaire. But, uh, you know, it, it would have been- it would have been quite something Ice, to think- Call off your men! There is no need for this! It would have been quite something to think I would get through this without at least someone going down. Oh yeah, I should specify, I did buy another Blessing Stone. Um, so we, uh, have those. Although, Selfina's not in the fight, and Selfina was the one that had it, so it doesn't really make a difference. You disobeyed orders at your own peril. Traitors! Orders? That was a call to slaughter innocents! What man could heed that? I know, right? This man could. How are you unable to see it, Denner? History will show that our countrymen's sacrifice built our future anew! Vice, what's happened to you? It's the hair gel. Believe me, Denim. Alrighty. Um, we got a mage to kill, I think, here. So, if I... Heart Crusher would do that much. Alternately... Alternatively, this would do this much. There you go. You like that, nerd? Enjoy that silence? My Quickened has faded. Uh... Let's go ahead and get you that auto skill, then, also. And... Heal up Derwin, please. Alright, I think we've got this. This is going to be a monstrously long episode, but, um... There are many in Albor who are as I was. Blind to the truth of Balmamusa. This is going to be a long episode, but it's fine. This happens sometimes when I'm playing these types of games. Will you go on to see me, then? How long can you carry on such deception? As long as need be, if we are careful. The people care nothing for truth. They need only a story they can convince themselves is true. You are wrong. Without truth, we are lost. When Denim told you the truth, were you quick to believe him? Did you not yet cling to Leonard's tale? Then... As now, you believe only what you want to believe. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, Vice is Vice is doing the thing where uh, he talks shit to you and kind of gets in your head. Alrighty. So, Ice Prison on you doesn't kill, but gets very close. High roll, please. No, oh, low roll. Oh well. Um, tame. Oh, I can't- I can't recruit Perseus, it doesn't seem. Yeah. Um, unless you're just too high. Um... Beast crouches as though it might spring on you at any moment. Yeah, we might not be able to recruit you, because you're like a special dragon. For this fight. Might be the case. Ow. Pain. Uh, spell strike fades. Um, I could kill you. Yeah, it looks good to me. There you are. Goodbye, Frigia. Beautiful, beautiful. Flame breath on those two. Oh, don't weaken Uhuk. How dare. Uh... Let's see here. Tail Lash on you? Yes, please. There we go. Dead Archer. Yep, we're wiping him out. Ow. Ow. Yeah, that's right, Vice. You little shit. Um... Canopus. Canopus, Canopus. You're running out of allies, friend. Um... 
Can you hit right there? Yes, you can. Oh, never mind. It hit the bush. Damn it. I didn't see the bush hanging out there. The perspective was a little bit weird and screwed me over. Um, Durbin needs to be healed. Not enough to save your life, I don't think, but it's something. Yep, not enough to save your life. Okay, it's fine. We can we can get people back up. Uhuk, you know exactly what you're doing. Go over there and just go crazy. Go nuts. Looks good to me. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I do like that um, on you specifically. It was a little bit scarier, the idea of putting it on Denim, because... You know, Denim's the main character, so I don't want to be too risky with you. And also, you're just really strong, so if I accidentally hit my allies, it would hurt a ton, but... Yuhook's very tanky, can just kind of go off on his own and just mess people up. So, I like that. I'm not really using my Heart Crusher much here, just because... It doesn't really feel like there's a lot of reason to most of the time. Um, here, I will do slightly more damage using Heart Crusher, though. So, why don't we just go ahead and do that? Ooh, can I reach that? Oh, I wish I could reach that physical attack up. That would have been amazing. But, yeah. Here we go. Attacking twice does nearly as much damage as that, so... But, uh, it's fine. Let's see... Yep, you're out of that mind leaf. Just heal a bat... Don't exercise Batarin. That, that wouldn't be good. We don't need Batarin exercised. Batarin gets enough exercise, okay? Um, there's not really a whole lot for you to do, Miles. Um, you can grab this auto skill, though, so you can just get your MP back faster. Wonderful. Dark Weights on the dragon. I would have liked you to kill the other unit, but that's cool, too, I suppose. Um, let's just start wiping some of these units out, I think. That... Should be enough to kill you. You know, maybe I should make sure. Let's make sure. I don't want to get a low roll and not have it actually kill you. Because your turn was coming up, so... Owie. Eat counter. How dare you take my shit? Dash. Beautiful. Um, you could kill... Hester. Never mind, no you can't. Um, you could go fight your, your brethren. You could go fight your brethren. Or you could just get a, a def an attack up here. That looks good to me. And we'll throw a boulder at you. Almost killing you in the process. Looks good to me. Thanks for the mind leaf. Heart crusher. Ow. Pain. Uh, you're dead. All right, we got this. ooh card, agility. That's that's denim. That's denim for sure. Finally, I'm gonna get one of these stupid bastards. All right, denim, pick it up. Yeah 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 yeah. Stats slightly increased. Beautiful. Um, how much would this do? Like nothing. Like nothing. That's the answer. Let's just wait then. Canopus. Alrighty. Go ahead and... Uh, yeah, yeah, shoot Batarin. There you go. Thank you. Sorry, Batarin. You understand. Nothing personal. Yes. Berserk is active again. Okay, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Um... Yeah, Vice is very... dodgy. And by dodge, I don't mean the actual adjective, I mean, like, you dodge a lot. Uh, you have, uh, yeah, you have a Blessing Stone. Go, go over there and revive our friend, will you? Um, maybe I don't need to waste it, though? Those things are expensive. I don't want to waste them if I don't have to. So... Maybe we take out these other enemies with you first, yeah? I don't want to waste it if I don't have to, so we'll we'll hold off a little bit longer and just make sure. 
six. Yeah. Owie. Ow. Ow. Okay. You could tail lash. Okay, that's the dragon almost dead. Batarin, you could go over here and finish off the dragon. All right, dragon is down. Beautiful. I don't think that thing was tameable unless it was just like, ooh, fall strike, yay. I don't think that thing was tameable. That thing was tameable. Um, unless I was just like I hadn't gotten it low enough HP yet, so it was just not even giving me the option. But I don't know. All right, Vice. Eat Heart Crusher. 219. All right, I think we've got this in the bag. And not that much worse for wear either. We lost Kashua, but we always lose Kashua, so that's to be expected. Alrighty. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and get behind you here. Bonky on the head, Vice. And you can go ahead and bonk Vice as well. Oh god, I forgot I had that active, but it's okay, pincer attack. Forgot I had that active. I thought I had Sanguine Assault active. That's the dangerous thing about that. We'll have to be careful of that. Eat shit, Vice. This could have gone better. We withdraw for now! Who are you talking to? It's just you. It's just you, Vice. You're talking to no one. Just go ahead and do your stupid anime teleport away. No going back to Ashton Denim. Your route is cut off. There's nowhere to run. You're the one running. And no surrendering either. I'll kill you with my own hands. You're really salty, you know that? Could fill an ocean with this guy. Alright, we did it. You flee, Vice. Coward! Agreed. I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. You'll never escape what you did in Baba Musa. Denim, you were right. I owe you an apology. My life... My life remains yours to do with as you will. Hell yeah. We should withdraw before they receive reinforcement. Fall back to Chrysoro. Man, things would go a lot differently in this story if people didn't have all these teleport gems. People didn't have the teleport gems, things would be way different. Alrighty, look at all that stuff we got. Three fireworm marks, dragoon marks. Win with a knight in the party. Got a balder axe. Absolutely wonderful. No XP for Kashua. It's all from Molossos. All from Molossos and Molossos alone. Ooh, that looks like an interesting new skill. RSL wants to join the party. Welcome. Welcome, RSL. Good stuff. Alrighty. And, oh, it took away... Man of Proven Worth is my new title. And yeah, it took away the other places. My route's cut off, like Vice said. Um, what's that new skill we just got on you? The dragon is quite useful. I do like you a fair bit. Aerial Resonance. Inflict air reversal on all enemy units within range. Chance success increases with ranks. Also grants wind touch to friendly units. In the zone, I'm imagining that's about to say. Cool. Um, so before I forget, let's um, let's go ahead and uh, throw Empower Dragon on. Yeah, yeah, I want I want that on. We still have blowguns on as well, and I'll do something with that at some point. I promise. Right now, it's just getting baby amounts of XP. Okay, um, I'm gonna end this episode off because it's very long. Um, so, hope you've enjoyed this episode of, tr of oh my god, I almost said Triangle Strategy. Tactics Ogre. <laughs> and I will see you next time for some more.